I'm just really trying to get things straight here. Robert White goes from directing this to this? The Gambler is a story about a college professor named Jim Bennett played by Mark Wahlberg who has a very bad gambling addiction and also feels very miserable about his life. The film opens up with Jim Bennett's grandpa dying, noting that he's actually mourning the loss of his grandfather. But the film basically ignored it for the rest of the movie as they only mentioned him one more time after that for the entire movie. So it was really a waste of a beginning sequence. As early as 30 minutes into the movie, I felt like just walking out of the theater and just letting my money go to waste. But I didn't. Let's just make things clear that Mark Wahlberg's character was a complete douche who just acted like an asshole to just about every other character in the movie. He made the protagonist of this film so unlikable that it's so hard to like any movie period that focuses on such an unlikable protagonist. Not one time in the entire movie did I ever feel any type of sympathy for the protagonist of this movie whatsoever. The Gambler also had one of the most one-dimensional dialogues I've seen from any movie that came out in 2014. The entire movie, Mark Wahlberg's character always talked in the same tone and always seemed to be in the same mood. There was only one scene in the entire movie that I can actually recall that actually reached out to his emotions. The original antagonist of this film, played by Alvin Ng, was in the movie at the beginning and basically just disappeared until the end of the movie. The other main antagonist, played by Michael K. Williams, did nothing but deliver boring dialogue, failing to make me believe that he was intimidating, which he was supposed to be. At the scenes where it was supposed to make the audience feel the main character's emotions, there was no music playing in the background whatsoever, which even makes it even more difficult for the audience to feel attached to the characters of the film. On the bright side, there at least were any bad performances from any actor for me to point out. Mark Wahlberg did about as good of a job as he could have done at doing what he was asked to do. It obviously wasn't his fault that his character just ended up being so unlikable. He always does a good job at playing the idiotic and the hot-headed character, especially in the movie Pain and Gain from 2013. Although I didn't give that movie a very good rating either, I at least felt like he had an outstanding performance in that movie, where he played a very similar type of character. It also shows that a movie is bad when the character who I felt the most emotionally attached to wasn't even in the movie for that long, which would be Lamar Allen the star basketball player for the university who had been struggling with a knee problem. If Rupper White can direct such great films like Rise of the Planet of the Apes, which is one of my favorite movies of 2011, that obviously means that there was something that went wrong with his talent. White could have put a lot more effort into this film. I mean, the plot was interesting and it had potential as well. It was just so sloppily written that it turned out to be like this despite of what he has accomplished in the past. As soon as the credits began to roll, I rushed out of that theater in order to get that terrible experience over with. I'm not asking you not to see The Gambler. I'm encouraging you not to see that movie. My final score out of four stars for The Gambler would be half a star. Did you see The Gambler? If so, what do you think? What's your favorite Mark Wahlberg movie? He has had some really good performances and some really bad movies before, but which one would be yours? Share your opinions below. And as always, to get more weekly reviews from Take Two Productions, hit that subscribe button.